Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look today at Robin Leonard. Now you may be wondering why are you wearing an outer jersey? Robin Leonard's on the Vegas Golden Knights. He's the starting goaltender there. Well, with all this stuff that's happened this offseason with Robin Leonard, um, he kind of talked about some stuff in some interviews he's had recently. And one of those things he brought up was the divorce between him and the New York Islanders. Now, it's kind of an interesting story, so we are going to get into it. So, back, I'll give you a little bit of a recap of what happened. So, 2018, the summer of 2018 was a, uh, at the very least, an interesting one for the New York Islanders. Now, the Islanders had just missed the playoffs, John Tavares was up for a new contract, left the team on July 1st to sign with his hometown Maple Leafs. Pajama Boy started, all of that stuff, right? But we tend to forget what happened that summer as well. Obviously, Barry Trotz, Lou Lamarillo come in. They also signed a goaltender from Buffalo that that season had played in the Winter Classic with the Buffalo Sabres and was really having the worst possible career in Buffalo. He was just not doing well and it was a young Robin Leonard who was having some issues off the ice uh, some anger issues just not being able to control himself and before that he was supposed to be the starting goaltender in Ottawa remember that whole thing he was also in Ottawa where he was drafted goes to the Buffalo Sabres things aren't working out in Buffalo go figure ask anybody that's been in Buffalo the past 10 years if not longer um, and then he gets let go. Now, he was a restricted free agent that summer, but the Buffalo Sabres management had said, let him walk for free. We don't want to keep him. This isn't going to work for either of us long term. It doesn't make sense. Let's separate. And that happened. And then Robin Leonard is all of a sudden the new goaltender for the New York Islanders, who the Islanders had a little bit of a shakeup in between the pipes for themselves. Uh, they now have who did they have at that point? I believe it was Thomas Grice and Robin Leonard. So interesting. They let go of Hawak and they bring in Robin Leonard. So, okay. Now, Robin Leonard goes on to have an incredible season with the New York Islanders. With Piero Greco, Mitch Korn, some of the Islanders goaltending coaching staff that they brought in. And I've made videos about that before. How they've turned around Varlamov, Sorokin, Grice. And Robin Leonard, he's also on that list as well. So, he goes to the Islanders, does unbelievably well. Vesna finalist that first season. Wins the Bill Masterton for the, whatever that trophy is. I don't really remember what you classified as, but he wins the Masterton. Good stuff there. And, um, and then things took a dip. So, basically, at the end of that season, the Islanders had lost in the second round of the Hurricanes. And it was a 1A, 1B situation with Leonard and Grice. There wasn't a true starter that season. The Isles told Leonard he was their top priority that summer and not to worry about a contract. Now, that wasn't completely true. It was a little bit of a white lie because uh, their captain was also due for a contract. No, no, not John Tavares. They named a new captain, Anders Lee. So he was supposed to be signed as well that summer, which they ended up keeping him on Long Island, keeping him from signing with the Montreal Canadiens at the same exact contract, seven years, seven million per year. So, with that said, he was asked, you know, the, the camp had asked, listen, what's going on? We're supposed to have a contract done. It's after the NHL awards. What's going on here? And uh, he was asked from his agent, what does Leonard want on his next contract? And Leonard and his agent were kind of like, I thought we were your top priority this summer. What? What happened? Like, we have to come back to you now. And there was that little bit of a back and forth. Oh, you really don't want us, this and that. And um, pretty much the Islanders offered Robin Leonard a two-year contract. A two-year contract worth $8 million. Worth $4 million per season. You, you do the math on that. Which is a pretty good contract considering he was pretty much let go in Buffalo. Given, you know, he had no value. And the Islanders turned him into... A pretty good starting goaltender, or at the very least, a 1A option. But Leonard thought he was worth more. He thought he was worth more. He was worth $5 million per year. And that summer in 2019, 
A year after signing with the New York Islanders, he goes to the Chicago Blackhawks, signs a contract to stay in Chicago at that $5 million number, and he is now with oh, ooh, he is now with the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, things didn't really work out in Chicago either. They were in the midst of a rebuild, which they're still coming out of today. Probably going to be out of it at this point. And the Chicago Blackhawks had not the season they were hoping for. They signed into a one- or two-year deal. And who swoops in at the trade deadline? Of course, it's Kelly McCrimmon and the Vegas Golden Knights to add another goaltender behind Mark andre Fleury, who was already having some issues in between the pipes. And um, he comes in. He becomes now, as, you know, as the future would tell us, he is now the starter of the Vegas Golden Knights. So... Things didn't work out on Long Island. Um, kind of a shame how that unfolded. I think really Robin Leonard liked it on Long Island. He has a tattoo of Long Island on him. And um, that's just kind of how it goes. Unfortunately, that is business. And you know you have to consider too if you're Lula Morello. A lot of people brought this up when they brought in Semyon Varlamov. Semyon Varlamov is Russian. You know another Russian goaltender that the Islanders have brought in since then? People made that connection. Semyon Varlamov is friends with Ilya Sorokin from his time back in Russia. So there was that connection between those two and may have been a little bit of leverage or a pull for the the New York Islanders to bring in Ilya Sorokin. So it's one of those things. It sucks that they lost Robin Leonard. He was one of those guys that just, it was a one-hit wonder. He worked out really well at the Islanders. He, he just, the fans took to Robin Leonard. He was a fan favorite. But at the end of the day, he ends up leaving. He goes to Chicago, and and that's why we are where we are today. And uh, the Islanders have done pretty well without him, to be completely honest. I think Lou understood that with his coaching staff. But for Robin Leonard, he's had a pretty, a pretty good career for himself. He's won the hearts of Vegas fans. He's won the hearts of the coaching staff, or at least you're good. So we're going to keep playing you. And that's kind of what happened. Pete DeBoer kind of has faith in a guy like Robin Leonard. And now he gets an opportunity to be the starter in the Sin City with the Golden Knights. So that's it for our little story time today. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What if Robin Leonard stayed with the New York Islanders? Would he still be there today? Would he have won a Vesna with the New York Islanders? Would the Islanders have won a Stanley Cup with Robin Leonard? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.